Hi, so this morning I'm going to make a video showing you how to do a check request. Um, a check request is something that we fill out quite often when we need to send a refund to a customer or a homeowner or reimbursement of some sort. Um, and in this case, it's a reimbursement um, that was approved at the West Corp uh, board meeting for a gentleman who paid for his own um, sewer line backup repair. And it was approved to give him a refund for his receipt. So first thing you do is you get a check request form, and this is going to be in the Z drive under all company forms and policies, and then this document here, all check request fillable. So open that up. Okay, so the next thing you'll need to do is fill this out. You don't do the invoice number. That's something that accounting will assign when they receive it. So you would put in today's date, the association, West Court, and then you'll need the account number and information and the homeowner's information, which I don't have condo manager open, so I'm gonna have to quickly do here. I'm gonna open condo, and while I'm opening condo, I'm gonna go and get a copy also of the um, receipt that we received from this homeowner. So I'm gonna get the receipt, which I have saved in the current file. And this will, I don't know where the receipt will be for the check request that you're doing. So I'm going to the West Court folder on the Z drive. I'm gonna to go to the current folder, January, 2021. And in here I have the rotor router bill and that's what we're providing a refund for. And we're gonna actually attach that as well um, to the check request form. So it's good to know where it's at. So the total amount here was $406 on this roto router bill. So you go back to the form and we can put that amount in here, $406. And now that condo manager is open, let's go ahead and get this um, homeowner's information. So his name is Mutt Lou. <clears throat> All right. So you'll need his account number, 7819, and that goes here. He is the payee, so his name will go there. It's Mutlu Ozer. Mutlu Ozer. His mailing address, and then a little quick way you can do this is I always go to print envelope, and that's going to pull up the address right here and you can just copy and paste. So copy and paste. Reason, reimbursement for plumbing approved at 113 board meeting, okay? So then you just double check your information. It looks good. Um, you can put requested by your name. Um, and then I think accounting fills in this piece. I never do, I just leave it blank. Um, or if you're an assistant and you wanna send this to the manager, you can put your name here and the manager can approve it there. And then one more thing, we have to insert a copy of the actual receipt. So I'm gonna do that. So I go up to here and insert. And we know where that was. That was in the current folder for West Court. And it was the Roto Router Bill. And we want it to be after this page. All right, so now um, this request is final. Um, the receipt is right here. So we're gonna save as, because we don't wanna save this, because this is the one that everyone uses. So go File, Save As. And then I keep all my check requests in the same location. This one here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in West Court, um, and then I might move it to the unit file um, when I'm done. So I'm gonna do Ozer, his last name, check request, save. All right, and then the last step is that you send that to accounting. So you go to your email, compose, and you would send it to accounting. Put something like West Court check request. 
and then please see attached. And then you attach the check request that we saved in West Court, which is here. And there it is, Ozer check request fillable. And that's how you do a check request. Thank you.